It's estimated more than 54,000 people will be diagnosed with oral cancer this year alone. That's almost 150 every day. April is a month dedicated to oral cancer prevention awareness. Joining with more on this topic, a registered dental hygienist, Susan Cotton. Susan, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you for having me here and raising awareness. Absolutely. So this is something you're really passionate about. You travel the world speaking on oral cancer and, and we want to bring awareness to this this morning. Specifically, talk to us a little bit about the risk factors for oral cancer. Sure. Well, historically, we've known Tobacco use in all forms and chronic high alcohol use are risk factors. What we know now is that combining tobacco and alcohol use together significantly increases that risk of oral cancer. Okay. We know the human papillomavirus, mm -hmm. HPV, causes over 70% of throat cancers. Wow. Other risk factors are chewing beetle quid, an immune comprom a compromised mm -hmm. immune system, and long-term irritation from ill-fitting dentures. Okay. We also know that we're seeing some increase in tongue cancer in people that don't have any risk factors. Wow, what are some of the symptoms or signs we might have that might be an indicator that, hey, we need to get this checked out? Yeah, great question, thank you. Um, what we know is that a persistent red, white patch a lesion, sore or ulcer okay. on the lips, anywhere in the mouth or the throat, a, a lump or a mass okay. anywhere in the head and the neck, a pers persistent swollen lymph node. It could be difficulty swallowing okay. or the sensation of something caught in the throat and it won't go down. Okay. Um, persistent change in voice, hoarseness, yeah. sore throat, cough, fatigue. A lot, a, a lot, pretty yeah. varying factors there, Susan. Yeah. And we were just chatting. You said initially this was something found in older people, mm -hmm. but now you're kind of seeing it in, in younger people now too. So talk to us a little bit about that. So due to the human papillomavirus, mm -hmm. HPV, we're seeing younger people diagnosed with the throat cancers, but the tongue cancer of the mobile tongue we're seeing an increase in those tongue cancers in some younger people, and they don't have any known risk factors for oral cancer. Wow, wow. Is there anything, you know, we can be doing preventively? You did mention, you know, tobacco and alcohol are gonna be big factors, but anything else we can stay away from? Beetle quid, stay healthy, eat a good diet, um, get screened by your dentist, your dental hygienist. They'll be doing a full head and neck exam. Okay. Checking the outside of the head and neck, the skin, palpating lymph nodes, the thyroid, um, checking this long muscle on the side of the neck. Mm -hmm. um, they'll check the inside of the mouth. Okay. Have you moved your tongue side to side and grasp that tongue, look all the way to the back of the tongue and they'll um, palpate the floor of the mouth and have you open real wide and say, ah, and okay. look at the throat. So get screened yeah. and do screenings um, on yourself, just like we do um, other screenings sure, at sure. home. Yeah. Check, know these signs and symptoms, do kind of that, what I just said, yeah. check everything at home. You can use your phone to illuminate the inside of your mouth, okay. or you yeah. can use a device like this that I brought. Oh, cool. It's a tongue depressor yeah. and plastic. Got a little light on the end. It sticks onto this. It's called a telescope. Very and cool. you can illuminate the inside of your mouth and look for any lesions or yeah. anything that just is persistent. Wonderful. Susan, we can't thank you enough again for coming in this morning. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me.